The wine industry is unique. It's been very, very, very successful in California. Some of the varietals we make, we're all proud of. But clearly our cost of capital, and I say this as a participant, is probably going to go up 30%, no question about it. It's going to make the larger operators probably more protected around a moat, and the smaller ones are going to be acquired by the larger ones. It's going to force consolidation in the wine industry. Last week, O'Leary Ventures Chairman Kevin O'Leary warned of trouble ahead for California wineries in the wake of SVB's collapse. Now, the bank boasted a well-equipped wine division, issuing over $4 billion in loans over more than 25 years. Many vineyards are now unsure of where to turn. Joining me now is Connor McMahon, the owner of Full Draw Vineyard in California, who banked with SVB. Thank you for joining us this morning. So, Connor, walk us through what it was like when you sort of first started hearing the information about SVB's demise and what's that done, done to your business over this course of this past week? Well, it, thank you for having me on, first and foremost. Um, it was a very nerve wracking thing, especially being a small startup winery here in Paso Robles, California. Um, we really try to focus on organic and sustainable wines. And so I think partnering with Silicon Valley Bank was at the time a very smart idea for us. Uh, but re rewind to the week that we, we started seeing Silicon Valley Bank uh, stock price start to tumble. And we didn't really know where that was going to leave us as a small winery. But that Friday morning, we started to scramble trying to figure out how to get our merchant processing, our credit card processing hooked up to another bank because we had no idea what the uh, fallout was going to be with Silicon Valley Bank. And what was that process like of trying to sort of switch from one bank to another? I know you do still have some accounts within SVB. We do. Um, that process was, uh, fortunately, we've got great personal connections here in Paso Robles with other banks. Um, so getting that checking account open was a pretty fast process, but really with the uncertainty of all of our loans that we have with Silicon Valley Bank, we really didn't know where that was going to leave us. It was a pretty scary time. Um, and just having access to our funds was the biggest issue because being locked out of our uh, operating line of credit, we had no way to know if we were going to be able to make payroll and continue operations in the vineyard. So really getting uh, any cap capturing any revenue that we had coming in through the winery was our most important goal and getting that other checking account open with the other banks was very important. And I can imagine it must be particularly difficult given the seasonal nature of your work, given the time, seven years on, on aggregate in, in order to really go from, from planting to being able to, to produce a wine here. What has that done for your margins or perhaps your strategy and how you plan on banking? Really, that's going to lock us in um, with a bank that we can trust long term, just because, like you said, when we plant a vine, it takes about seven years for us to see any sort of return on investment because it takes three to four years uh, of the vine to be able to come to maturity to produce fruit, and then another two years of uh, barrel age and bottle age. So really, when you look at that timeline of seven years, that really creates a very narrow margin for error. Uh, you really need to put out a great product, which is what we work hard at doing here, um, because we have to be able to show our consumers that what we have done over those last seven years makes it worth it to purchase our product and consume our product. And in terms of what happens next, I mean, the FDIC is still looking for bidders to purchase this bank and they've had to extend that deadline, didn't have enough bidders. What do you think this does, though, seeing this collapse of SVB, and especially when you have such a niche sector here, what does that mean for the future of California wineries? That's a very interesting question. I think what it's going to do is probably push some wineries to finding outside funding versus finding uh, banks because you have a little bit more stability with some of those investors. Um, we really are looking forward to the future to see where that's going to take Silicon Valley Bank and having one of their buyers come in, we don't know where that leaves us. Um, so really with the future being unclear, it's really hard for me to answer that question. Yeah, it's understandable. Obviously, still, still a lot going on here, still a lot being unraveled. A big thank you to Connor McMahon, owner of Full Draw Vineyard. Thank you for your time this morning.